Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So this is God of War on PC, which um, is quite a surprise for me, to be honest, because I never imagined that they would, that someone would release God of War on PC in the first place. But uh, I'm happy that they did, and um, like I played the game before on PlayStation 4 and everything, and I completed the game, so I kind of do know the story and everything, but it is such an amazing experience, experience that I really want to relive this on PC, right? So It's a good way to play the game. And good news is that the game does support ultra wide natively, but only 21 by 9, which is kind of a bummer because uh, there's more 32 by 9 users out there now than there used to be. But there is an easy fix for us 32 by 9 users, and that is to download an application called Flawless Widescreen. And that application has a plugin for the game that you just enable in the in the menu in the application thing. And uh, you just have that application running before the game, and you launch the game, and then the game just automatically runs at 32 by 9. So, moving on to the performance of the game stuff, and the graphics settings and everything. Um, I just want to show you real quick what I'm running the game at. I'm running most of the settings at original, because I can't really tell the difference between any of the higher settings. So there's no point... In my opinion, to increase the graphic settings of these um, uh, graphics here, or the, uh, the the options, right? So, mono quality, that's basically LOD, I believe, level of detail. But the only thing they're running at ultra right now is kind of like the, one of the most demanding graphic settings in the game, right? Which is shadows. And when you run the uh, when you run the the shadows at ultra, you get more shadows in the game, right? So you can see further or um, you can see here, right, it kind of covers the tent as well and gives it a bit of a more, a better atmosphere in the game, right? So you get more shadows and higher cascades, I believe. Yeah, I can tell. And the game looks absolutely amazing, right? It's just such a good looking game, even though the game is from 2018. Um, yeah, so these are the graphic settings. The reason why I'm running the, these settings to original is because I don't want to losing frames when I can't really tell the difference anyways. So the game does support DLSS and FSR, which is amazing because they kind of do, they're supporting both the green team and the red team. So I'm running the game at DLSS quality now with uh, 40 in sharpness. If you kind of overdo the sharpness a bit, it, you kind of get like these, um, I don't know, these outlines on every 3D object, right? And that's kind of annoying. So, uh, yeah, the, the game performs really well. You can tell here that from with the settings I'm running at right now, I'm getting 90 frames. But what I could do is see how much, how many more frames I get if I just change from quality down to balanced. Let's see how that, how many frames I get from that. So it used to be at 90, I'd get like four, <laughs> three, three frames, three or four more frames. So I'm gonna keep that to quality. Uh, I played through some of the game. I kind of went through the first boss fight with a stranger. I don't really want to spoil like too much of the game, even though the game is kind of old, because uh, it recently launched on PC. So I don't really want to spoil anything for the new players. So uh, let's just play a little bit, and um, I'm not really gonna go through a whole lot, but uh, maybe see if we can fight something. Fight some Dragood, or however you fucking pronounce it. And uh, the one thing that's amazing with this game is that every cutscene is kind of like dynamic. So you kind of dynamically change between gameplay and the cutscene. So it makes it feel like really immersive and stuff too. And uh, they've done a great job with that. And also, there's. At least from what I've noticed, like I haven't really seen anything that um, had to kill people before, kind of stands you? out when I'm playing at 32 by 9 we Like with, you know, how games are, survive. they kind of put black borders on each side to cover up the uh, the things you're not supposed to see. There's there aren't anything like that in this game, so like, there are no black people. bars or any to anything that you're not supposed to see, right? Close so it kind of feels very... It feels like 32 by 9 was like meant for this game, to be honest. Of creature. Close your heart to their desperation. Close your heart to their suffering. Do not allow yourself to feel for them. 
They will not. And it's uh, it's amazing how they uh, I understand. They went with the uh, the Norse mythology for this game. I really didn't imagine that they were going to go. Has this been here all this with, time? With uh, the Norse mythology in end time soon. So I'm really happy that they did. And it's kind of strange to see because I am in a region myself. So get a better look. it's kind of hard to to um. Oh, oops. Okay, I remember that. Kind of hard to fathom that that you're about to kill Thor or whatever in the next game, probably. So and I'm really into the uh, the, the uh, Norse mythology. I really do okay. enjoy Nowhere to go from here. reading about that and stuff. Except across this bridge. Hey, boy. What do I do? No, I really don't remember what I'm supposed to do, though. To be honest. But the game really does play well with mouse and keyboard too, which is what, which was, which was kind of a surprise um, for me because they've done a really good job with translating the PlayStation controls over to the mouse and keyboard, which is really not something. Okay. What am I supposed to do again? Oh. Uh, I can't see it. Am I supposed to go up here? My god, this is like... Oh, there. I really did not pay attention. <laughs> okay, and then... Made it. Okay. Drop the chain, boy. Boy. Yes, sir. Wait! I am playing the Are game on the second hardest difficulty as well. Which is, uh, it's, it's a challenge for sure, but, um, it's a lot of fun. It's really not that annoying either. I, I do remember playing against the Valkyries, and it was, that was a tough time to be honest, but I really, I got through with it in the end though, after like 30 tries per Valkyrie. Okay. We are supposed to go down there. Oh. Oh. Let me see. What was I supposed to do again? Huh. Okay. Oh, where I was supposed to freeze it. <gasps> Go back down again, and then freeze the bridge. Okay, let's see. There we go. Good idea. Yeah. Okay, let's pick that up while we're at it. The game does really utilize a whole lot of my CPU, though. And it does run kind of hot, even though it has its own, like, radiator and everything, too. Um, CPUs do tend to get hot, though. But it's really not struggling, though, so it's fine. Father, will we see others on the road? Yes. It is kind of warm in the room, too, though, so that doesn't really help, either. They'll try and rob us? Possibly. Yes. Oh. I do apologize for taking so long with uploading new videos. It's just I've had a lot to do in my own life recently, so... I'll try to do better with uh, uploading more frequent videos, but <laughs> I can't really promise anything. But I'm definitely going to upload more videos, though. Like, I really do enjoy, enjoy doing this, and I... Look. Appreciate the support and the views that you, you people well, are giving time. me. So, there's been a protection state all I want to do is just help you out with um, but showing you guys how the games run there. and show fixes for games that don't support ultra wide. Cut those down. Stuff like that. <laughs> she had marked the tree she was used for her pyre. Why'd she do that? I think it's how the cutscenes are amazing as well. Come. No looking back now. 
Let's just see. I might skip ahead a little bit in the video for you guys to um, do some combat as well. This oh. might be taking too long, so we'll see. How long will it take to get to the mountain? I do not know. There might be combat here, though, so Before hopefully Winterfell? if we're lucky. I do not know. Okay, okay. Oh, yep, there we go. Never mind then. <laughs> okay, so some combat. Let's see. Wait for my mark. God, he is brutal. Boy. I really do love the uh, the executions in this game too. <laughs> Threat indicator. Okay. Oh, I already know that. God. That's really cool thing too. Shit, they can take a lot of damage. Behind me too. Let's just unleash the beast. That was a <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, I might end it here actually. If you want to help, because we're also gonna, the video is just going to be very long. Be yours, but only when safe to do so. I can do that. Look there. Okay, well, this has been God of War and. All I gotta say is I really do recommend this game if you haven't played it before. Um, and uh, I believe it's it's probably not going to be on sale for a little while, but it really is a worth playing because it's such an, an amazing experience and all the, the acting and the performances of all the different actors is really good. And how Kratos is in this game too is just... It's a definitely new Kratos and I really do like the way they uh, made him... Uh, Back in this game. So, uh, yeah, well, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you do, if you like the video, please do consider subscribing and liking the video and sharing and everything else <laughs> in between. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Have a good one.